Battlefront 2 is a controversial game, and that is well earned. That is, however, not what we're here to talk about. This is a review of the Star Wars Battlefront 2 single player campaign, and it will contain spoilers, both visual and in discussion. You are hereby warned. Still here? Good. Let us begin. The Battlefront 2 campaign follows Inferno Squad in general, and Ido Verso in particular, as they fight after the death of the Emperor and the Battle of Endor. They are tasked to participate in Operation Cinder, first mentioned in the Marvel comic Shattered Empire, the Emperor's vengeance upon the galaxy, and one that will wreak havoc regardless if the population is loyal or not. Inferno Squad is fastly put to the test both in battle and in loyalty. The story itself is not bad. Its use of characters is however questionable. Inferno Squad works well, but in a way, Del Miko steals the show. He is the one questioning the Empire, runs into a Jedi Knight, and who gets all the attention in the epilogue. All Aiden does is shoot things and have massive daddy issues that never get any payoff, a complete waste of to everything Christy Golden did to the character in her novel. This made some parts of the game feel forced and dis disingenuous. As for the pairing between Del and Aiden, I am neither for or against it. It works, they know each other for years and they do obviously care for each other, but it adds absolutely nothing to the story. Two characters who are even more wasted are Lando Calrissian, who seems intent on always having his cloud seating cool, to the point of parody, and poor Shrib, whose sarcasm serves him well when he do not trust Aiden, but every time after that just comes off as his single character trait, like he is unable to do anything else. Speaking of Battlefront, the game is pretty bad at representing one. Save for a few missions, you always seem to do suicidal charges against hugely superior odds that for some reason always works out. I know this is Star Wars, but it's getting old fast. In fact, one of the better levels in the game is where you play as Leia Organa solo, and you are pushed back by Imperial forces until you can activate a weapon that will save you all. Another level that stands out for all the right reasons is the Han Solo level on Takudana. It gives you a lot of opportunities to walk around and explore the place. The space combat levels feels more like an actual battle, but they come across as far too easy where only your actions matter and nobody else. Occasionally, your ship will take damage and it will not feel threatening at all. I cannot even remember if I at all died during one of these stages, and it does not help that the game mode heavily favors using a mouse. Using a joystick would help more for the immersion, but sadly dice went for accessibility here. Personally, and this goes for multiplayer too, I want to be able to use a flight stick and have an advantage if I do. Let the people who fly the mouse do their thing, but leave the pilots the means to do their fucking jobs. All of the levels have the same problem. Infinite number of stupid enemies who spawn at every angle and will not cease spawning unless you advance. It is a cheap and idiotic way to make a single player game and it does not help the story one bit when the experience of actually playing the game is not rewarding, only frustrating those times you missed that respawning stormtrooper behind you because you know it was not due to AI cleverness that he got there. All of this took me 4 hours and about 30 minutes. Yeah, you heard that right, 4 hours 
and 30 minutes. Including my mistakes. Including me not knowing where to go. Including me dying. And so on. EA was candid about this, citing that they wanted it to be an experience and not drawn out. I think that they forget that even an experience that takes longer to complete can be a good one, but considering their choices of gameplay, the entire experience argument wears a bit thin. Star Wars has been the scene for many good single player games. X-Wing Alliance, Republic Commando, and Jedi Outcast stands out. Games that took their time with the story and still could apply different challenges within a familiar format. So why does DICE fail so miserably at this? Are they simply bound by classic FPS conventions? Or is it just inexperience? Either way, we do deserve better, especially considering how short the experience was. Before you go, I have one last item on my list, and that is I am currently in the middle of a playthrough of the classic Star Wars game, X-Wing Alliance, so do check my channel for that, in case you want to see what real Starfighter combat in the Star Wars game.